La Mujer, the title, strong Latinas and Chicanas from Austin and beyond, women who often have been historically overshadowed by men, their men, their male counterparts in their fields. My name is Jay Muzak. I'm a social practice, public artist, author, educator, activist. Uh, we a lot of cut fingers. <laughs> I think we went through a box of 100 band-aids. <laughs> I'm extremely grateful to have received the opportunity to work on a mural of this scale. On behalf of all of the Caminantes, we are all super excited to finally share this unveiling with everybody. It took four years, right, to get it finally finished. So there was some waiting time in between, but it really took a good few weeks, if not months, to come up with the design. Then it took eight months every weekend, you know, coming to the MAC and working all day Saturday, sometimes Sunday, sometimes Wednesdays, with all the caminantes and volunteers, so dozens of people, hands, you know, physically making it. Then it took all the administration of going through the city to donate the piece officially to the city collection, that's Parks and Rec, and that's the city coming to help to build the foundation and build the wall, that's Frederico to, you know, keep driving it through and going to the meetings and getting the approvals and getting the budgets to, to buy the installation materials and all the rest. So much goes into it that finally now to like have it up out by the trail and nearly finished and we're just kind of polishing it now. It's a great thing to celebrate. It's a lot to celebrate and there's like dozens if not hundreds of people that could be like, hey, I helped on that in some way. And I think that's really beautiful. This wasn't my idea, right? This was a community generated idea, right? This was, this was an idea that the Caminantes as a whole um, from Frede down to all the members, to some of the MAC staff who were helping, and myself as more of like a design consultant. We all came up with this concept together. Yeah, no, I've been really excited about learning about this mural, like walking by it, and then to have people that we can look up to, especially women, right, that are activists and that have done a lot for our community. And it was really exciting for me, so that way I have something for my daughter, so that way she can also see when we're walking down the trail. So I'm really excited about the mural. Throughout the piece, you see motifs, and you know, such as like sugar skulls from Di de los Muertos, or monarch butterflies flying throughout as like a metaphor for you know immigration and sort of open borders policies and things like that. Emma Barrientos being portrayed, and people start to hopefully recognize and remember the faces of the women in a way that resonates with them. Maybe it's striking. If you ever listen to Selena's music, or you ever watched Sonia Sotomayor in a case. You're familiar with Dolores Huerta's struggle for farmers' rights and human rights and, and women's rights. If you look at the community side and if you've ever been to a protest. Also the technical challenges of creating a mural that's six by 24 feet and two-sided, so you're talking about hundreds of square feet of very detailed glass that we're making off-site. You can use this fiberglass mesh, you glue it to the mesh first, and then you do it in these big pieces, okay, and then we can take it out and install it like a puzzle. So that was definitely challenging. Uh, it was my first time doing a mural of that scale in that style. It was messy, it was sometimes frightening because I didn't know if it was gonna work, and you know, um, but we just had to kind of just keep pushing forward and completing those, those six four by eight foot panels was a challenge in itself. I mean, a couple cut fingers and, uh, you know, a couple little blood, sweat and tears and a few years later we finally got it up, so it was, it was all worthwhile. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad that it's almost completed and we're able to, you know, unveil it properly. Um, there's still things to be done, you know, there's still uh, a bit of cleanup, some landscaping around the area, making some plaques. Um, creating a, a, a celebration that, that lots of people from the community can come to and enjoy and, and see it, you know, glistening and shining for the first time in the public. Um, so, yeah, I'm just very ec excited. I'm ecstatic that it's, it's finally been installed and, um, and it will be there for a long, long time. <laughs> We're so thrilled to finally be able to share this project with the world. Thank you so much to the community that came out and helped us chip away at this project. Thank you to Jay for being a great mentor and for guiding us from start to finish. Thank you to Olivia for assisting us on the marketing aspect of this project because as teens we knew nothing about marketing. And thank you so much to Frederico because without you, none of this would be possible.
We're so grateful for all of the hard work, time, and energy you put not only into this project, but into Camino Sosi program itself. With that being said, we're looking forward to seeing all of you at the unveiling. Yeah.